coming. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for Welcome. having us. Welcome. Come in. All right. Which door is it? Um, the right, the first right. one on the right, yeah. All right. Thank you. Have you been here before? Oh, no, this is my first, first time. Okay, nice. Shall Welcome. We Have a seat. For all of our viewers back home, can you let us know your name, what country you're from, and what year you're in? Yeah, sure. I am Dorcas Menden. I come from Liberia. It's this really tiny country in West Africa. And I'm currently in my sixth semester, so that means next year I'll be a fourth year student. Um, now that we know who you are, we know a little bit about you. What do we have planned for today? Where are we headed next? Um, I was thinking about going to the gym. I don't know what time it is, mm. but there's a gym 15 minutes away from here. I usually walk to go to the gym on Sundays. So go to the gym, come back, have breakfast, um, chill a bit, and then maybe find lunch. Or for lunch, I might go to Salome and I can go to the park or mm a nice cafe yeah we we'll see how things go but that's that's the order of the day so far perfect perfect yeah. then uh, let's head on over to the gym then. are you okay though being yeah, here yeah, for yeah, that yeah. okay okay okay, okay. nice nice okay hi kimasho I think it was in August when I decided I wanted to like sign up for a gym. Mm. I signed up for a different gym. It was around Beppu Hospital, the hospital, that area. It was very far away, a lot bigger. Um, but it was so intimidating. Mm. And people were like lifting weights oh and then gosh. dropping it down. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> With the loud bangs and everything. Yo! <laughs> so I worked out there for like a month and mm. then came across this other gym on Instagram. I was like, oh, it looks really cute. I want to check it out. And it's perfect. Oh, really? Fewer people, oh. cheaper, oh. and it's not far. I can just walk to go there. Um, yeah, let's go this way. And uh, there's a lot of gyms out here that have like uh, segregation to an extent. Mm. Some gyms would be like for men only, women only. Mm. Sometimes they are co-ed but separated mm -hmm. rooms. Oh. What's your gym like? It is women's only, actually. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. But um, there are a lot of like older women who go there. Really? It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and but the previous gym I was working out at it was mm. co ed, so a lot of young people also. Mm. Yeah. But this one is mainly because of the proximity mm. and it's affordable. So. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the gym and work out a bit and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. So, what do you usually do after a workout on a Sunday? Go home, eat, chill. Sometimes I have um, podcast recordings so I, podcast. I'm a part of this circle the Kaiwa podcast mm. and we usually have AP students and faculty come together to talk about a range of topics oh wow so sometimes I do that today I don't have a recording but if you guys are interested I can show you around oh. all right so after workout I think I'm just gonna shower quickly and then I can show you guys how the podcast works. Try to set up the microphone. Mm. I think it'll be fun, yeah. So remember I had talked about the Kaiwa podcast. I guess I can tell you guys a bit more. So we started in October 2020. And what we do is bring students, faculty and staff together, APU students, of course, to talk about a range of topics. So we've had things on productivity, on politics, on art, on personal branding, the LGBTQIA plus community. We've had in both Japanese and English as well. Um, job hunting, just like different things. And it's mainly based on the host's interest and what the, the audience um, say they want as well. So sometimes we have polls on Instagram where people tell us like topics that they might be interested in. And we have people from different countries, Japan, of course, um, Nepal, India, South Korea, 
Liberia, of course. And yeah, it's been really exciting to have new people come over, especially since we started it and we're very small, very, we didn't know what we're doing. And then now people are interested in joining, being a part of the team. It's been really exciting to see it grow from what it was to what it is now. What moment do you cherish the most in the entire journey from beginning to now? Oh my God, Gohan Kais are always fun. Whenever we get together to like eat together, it's always fun. Hey, it's it's hard to pick one. One of like one of my favorite episodes, like all time favorite. Of course, the friendship episode was really good, but my, one of my all time favorite episodes was when I recorded for Pride Month last mm -hmm. year in June, and I had like three guests come over, like um, like different sexualities come over to to talk about like Pride Month and what the experience has been so far. I was just sitting there. Mm. I didn't do much because they took the entire conversation. They were so engaging. It was mm. so fun just hearing them talk about and just making things lighthearted as well while mm. also talking about the struggles um, of being in the LGBTQI plus community. So we have a couple of things. Let me take them out and then and show to you. So this is the pop filter. Everybody, every host has their own pop filter because of COVID, we don't want to be rotating mm. this around. So the pop filter and then a the microphone. Yeah. Using this, it just makes everything more real. You're just like, okay, I'm actually recording a podcast. Okay, so what happens is that yeah. This is exactly what happens. Like I keep laughing until it's until it comes. So um, and then the intro, ooh, it's on. Brilliant. Real. <laughs> okay, I'm talking to you now. Mm. Hello and welcome back to the Kaiwa Podcast, a space for APU students to have conversations about a range of topics, inspire each other, and hopefully. Mm, okay, I can <laughs> do it again. Hello, welcome back to the Kaiwa Podcast, a space for APU students to have conversations about a range of topics, mm. inspire far and wide, and empower the APU community through conversations. I am Dorcas Menden. I come from Liberia. I'm currently a six semester student here at APU. And yeah, today we are talking about what happens when you record a podcast. <laughs> So thank you guys for coming here and yeah, let's get started. Thank you so much for giving us such an amazing insight into what your podcast looks like. I think it's uh, almost time for us to go for lunch. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. So um, we'll uh, let you get ready okay. and then we can head on out and grab some lunch. Okay. I'm sure you guys must be hungry also. Yeah. Starving. <laughs> How was your experience with the first earthquake ah! you had in Japan? Um, I think it was in January this year. It wasn't really a big earthquake, but I jumped and I hit under my desk and I was like, tell me! <laughs> <laughs> and then she came out, she was just like moving, just like life is all good. I'm just like, girl, please. It was big, it was big. It How was about big. you? It was disruptive to my life because <laughs> it was at 2 a.m. I was so groggy. Did you guys get the notification thing? I so, did. <laughs> there's a conspiracy. If you have an Android phone, you're not going to get a notification. <laughs> Only people with iPhones get notifications and I've proven that multiple times. People with Androids on their own. Damn. We get it like 30 minutes later. <laughs> so, so. Oh, you know that, that notification woke me up. Like, Yo, it was, it was so loud, and then they were speaking Japanese <laughs> and then English. Earthquake! Earthquake! <laughs> Where are we at now? Pizza Aruto. It's the best pizza place in the world.
Uh, my name is Maina Salome. I'm from Kenya and I am a sixth semester student. That means I'm a third year student. Yeah. Brilliant. And obviously, by now, we can clearly see you guys have a very strong relationship. And where did it start from? Where did you guys first meet? We met in high school, mm. but we weren't really close in high school. So when we came to Japan, we ended up forming a bond when we lived in AP House. Oh. So we formed a bond there for two years. We stayed at AP House. And so we decided to just move in together because we made sense. Um, our friendship really worked. So that's, yeah, that's it. That's brilliant. What she said. <laughs> The most interesting part about your friendship is that you two are from very different sides of Africa. You know, we're, we're Africans, no doubt, but, you know, I feel like we tend to gravitate towards the people we can relate to the most, which mm. is within our, our own country and then yeah. within our region, so yeah. East Africans. And then to find people who from East Africa, West Africa, mm -hmm. coming together and being so close, I think it's very interesting. Do you guys ever find that you have any, like, cultural similarities? I think we probably do. But I feel like the more we live together, the clearer it is, like how like different we are, our mm. cultures are, like how we speak. Sometimes I speak like Koloka, she's like, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, so, but it's really fun for somebody to like bring out that, like that their roots as you guys are living together. And it's in a way that they forget that they're not living with somebody who's from where they're from. Mm. And so they just exist like they're back home and it just shows that they've gotten really comfortable around you. Also helping each other in terms of taking mm. care of my hair. We've gone yeah. to the topic mm -hmm. of hair. Because mm -hmm. she's really good at braiding. She's mm. a master braider. And she like hair care, shampoo, conditioner, those kinds of things. deep conditioner where she takes the whole day and I'm just like, girl, I take <laughs> two hours. <laughs> But yeah, she's really good at like taking care of hair. Yeah, so yeah. we compliment each other a lot. Yeah. Skincare also. Hey, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> so yeah, we compliment each other a lot. Yeah. yeah. My people, you're hello. So I'm in Japan right now. And I just want to say, you're kind of, I know we think about Asia, China first. But Japan is a nice place though. So come. <laughs> come to Japan. Come to Japan, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. I will see you. <laughs> Saseni. So wa Kenya mkuja, Japan si magari tu. Kuna opportunities mingi hapa. Nimefurahishwa na vile nimekuwa hapa. My past three years have been amazing. So mkuja, APU ni place poa sana. All right. So we just came back from the park and it's about 8 p.m. ish so i'm just gonna try to do some assignments shower and go to bed and tomorrow is another day to go to school so thank you guys for watching and yeah have fun bye bye